right friends welcome back to fourth module of this series uh, recap and uh, the first question is uh, d d u g j y deen dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana this is for improving the power supply position in rural areas by separating agriculture feeder and domestic feeders in rural areas so please don't forget deen dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana pertains to improving power supply in rural areas right pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana is for skill development pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana is for irrigation development atal pension yojana is applicable in the age group of 18 to 40 years and depending on your contribution you will get pension once you attain the age of 60 years and you can get pension of rupees 1000 or rupees 2000 or rupees 3000 or rupees 4000 or rupees 5000 depending on your contribution and the age group admitted is 18 to 40 years certain other things please don't forget pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana the age limit is 18 to 50 years and for pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana the age limit is 18 to 70 years under pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana premium is rupees 330 rupees per annum and life will be insured for rupees 2 lakhs and under pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana the premium is just rupees 12 per annum and you will be insured up to rupees 2 lakhs these things please don't forget under pradhan mantri janthan yojana the overdraft given is rupees 5000 and more than 18 crore bank accounts were opened under pradhan mantri janthan yojana and rupee cards are being given for these account holders ndb new development bank is headquartered in shanghai and at the same time please don't forget kv kamath will be the first president and Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank or AIIB is headquartered in Beijing. Silk Road and Maritime Silk Road projects so that is basically road and improving the maritime transportation these two projects are the initiative of China right look at the next one National Register of Citizens this National Register of Citizens pertains to Assam and Supreme Court recently gave deadline to complete the process by March 1 2016 the main purpose is to identify the illegal migrants to Assam from 25th March 1971 and this is as per Assam accord look in the next one government signed agreement to restore peace with NSCN recently government signed peace accord with nsscn militants and some of the factions have not participated in this right friends isis isis is active in syria and iraq it is administering certain portions of uh, syria and iraq right friends look at the next one foreign direct investment allowed in indian railways is 100% but please don't forget foreign direct investment is not allowed in safety and operations of indian railways in all other organs of indian railways the fdi allowed is 100% and please don't forget insurance sector fdi allowed is 49% defense it is 49% the other aspect is in the banking sector it is 74% and telecom sector it is 100% please don't forget these figures as stated by the prime minister personal interviews will not be there for group d group c and non gazetted posts of group b from 1st january 2016 so there will not be any personal interviews for group c group d and group b posts from 1st january 2016 and the assessment will be done purely based on written tests right recent declassification of files pertain to subhash chandra bose west bengal government declassified 64 files pertaining to 1937 or 38 right up to 1947 and now indian government stated that it will declassify files on 23rd january next year 
the significance of 23rd january is it is the birth anniversary of subhash chandra bose and the birth place is katak india will become member in shanghai cooperation organization at present there are six members india and pakistan will get the membership and very shortly india and pakistan will join as members in shanghai cooperation organization dedicated freight corridor dedicated the freight corridor is pertaining to indian railways two corridors are coming up western freight corridor and eastern freight corridor one is connecting jawaharlal nehru port trust to datri near delhi the second one is ludhiana to dankuni in west bengal that is eastern corridor and these two freight corridors are coming up as part of dedicated freight corridor of indian railways troy telecom regulatory authority of india recently gave instructions that call drops when call drop occurs the telecom companies have to pay rupees 1 per each call drop not more than 3 per day which of the following is meant for funding to the infrastructure sector for funding the infrastructure sector this year budget the national investment and infrastructure fund was proposed with an investment of rupees 20000 crores it is likely to come up in public private partnership mode by 2022 india wants to ensure 175000 megawatt of renewable energy out of which 60000 megawatt will be by wind energy and 1 lakh megawatt is by solar energy this is by 2022 india wants to achieve housing for all by 2022 the significance of 2022 is by then we will be completing 75 years of india's independence which is the final authority on the design and the quantum of bank notes in india the final authority for design and the quantum of bank notes in our country is government of india reserve bank of india will recommend and the final authority is government of india china recently devalued currency any country will devalue currency with the prime motto of giving impetus to exports with a view to increase their exports recently china devalued its currency and it is basically to give impetus to exports sba sba is a swachh bharat abhiyan that is the initiative of government of india basically to ensure clean india by 2019 you may ask what is the significance of 2019 by the year 2019 india will be completing 150 years of the birth of mahatma gandhi which of the following is not a differentiated bank i have previously told you in first module differentiated banks are different these are the banks which will take up specialized operations in one particular area if you look at it payment banks will be concentrating on remittances maximum deposit will not be more than 1 lakh rupees there they cannot lend and payment banks are basically for payments or remittances small finance banks are for giving loans or small value loans it is for small value lending so these are differentiated banks and the reserve bank of india gave licenses for differentiated banks for the first time that is payment banks as well as small finance banks but all other banks are universal banks so the answer here is state bank of india Raghuram Rajan is the 23rd RBI governor who took charge somewhere around in September 2013 Financing environmental friendly projects by banks is known as green banking Look at the next one in the union budget 2015-16 Atal Innovation Fund was created with the budgetary allocation of rupees 150 crores and look at the last one at present coal cess is 200 rupees per ton in the budget government increased the cess on coal from rupees 100 to rupees 200 right so with this let us conclude fourth module please do join for fifth module have a nice day thank you